We had a little bit of beans, a little bit of flour. Our mother grabbed her Koran and wrapped it in a towel. One soldier said, it's a pity. Your dad is in the army, but you're being deported. We waited for about two or three hours. My sister was sick. She was burning up with fever. The soldier asked, what's wrong with her? We said she had a fever. The soldier came back with some pills. But an officer, I think he was a major, came up to him and slapped his hand. He said, what are you doing? The soldier said, their father is in the army and she is sick. The officer said, what difference does it make if she dies now or an hour later? They pushed a pregnant woman into our car. She already had a daughter who was six or seven years old. The woman gave birth on the train. Soldiers helped her. They delivered the baby. Then the train stopped near a village. The train stopped occasionally, often in the middle of a field. So they took her out of the train with rags still wet and the baby. I said, where are you taking her? They said, why do you need her? She will be picked up. I still don't know what happened to them. They just threw them out. It was so dreadful, so degrading, so humiliating. How can a human being do that to another human being? There were 300 families in our village. Was there even a tiny bit of collaboration with the Germans? We didn't even have any Germans. The whole world can spit in my eyes if I'm caught lying. It is a 100% lie, not even 99%, but a 100% lie. Our people did not collaborate with the Germans. Nobody was a traitor. That was such a groundless accusation. I will never be able to forgive Russia or the Soviet Union. I never will.